Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 broadcast coming to you live from Caston High School with the Casting Girls home season opener uh, hosting the visiting Rochester Zebras. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Pete Duvall. Pete, welcome back from football season. Well, Blair, it's a pleasure to be back. Um, I've missed it. I've missed commentating. It's been... Uh, about nine months since the end of boys season and uh i don't know i've been waiting for it i have been waiting for it sadly i wish i was uh still playing football but you know well it, yeah obviously obviously uh and i've got to say congratulations on uh the first cast and football sectional victory in quite some time being part of that team so uh definitely there was some, there were some high points of the football season we we said good things about you guys well, uh, I was part of the team that won it last time, so back in 2020, so that was, that was a rough year. <laughs> we've, had a, we've had a few rough years. We, uh, it's, it was good to finally start seeing numbers increase a little bit. So I think that's the first part of the equation is just getting some guys out on the field. Uh, speaking of guys, or in this case, girls uh, coming out for sports or not, uh, Rochester Zebra is starting off the season on the back foot. Only seven girls varsity players up there, in, or only seven girls basketball players up in Rochester this season at this point. Um, so we didn't have didn't have a JV matchup here tonight, and um, those games with very very little bench depth they they can be really rough on the athletes who are out there having to put in every minute of the game. So be interesting to see how this shakes out here tonight uh, of course the comments winning their actual season opener up at argus on thursday evening uh so uh, coming in coming in off of a victory and of course they'll be looking to add a second one to the stat sheet here tonight We actually have quite a few home events that we'll be broadcasting this season, Pete. I was kind of looking ahead at the calendar. We've got a fairly heavy girls and boys season, and then this is a home heavy wrestling season as well. So lots of cast and athletics for you guys at home to be watching this winter season. All right, and starting for the Lady Zebras, we've got number two, Aubrey Wilson. Number three, Riley Clevinger. Number 33, Ella McCarter. Number 15, Jaden Field. 
number 25, Audrey Bollinger. Freshman Maddie Douglas starting for the Comets. Number four, Macy Hendeleiter. Number 11, Isabel Scales. Number 12, Alexa Finke. And number 13, Addison Zimpleman. Of course, the Lady Comets coached by Josh Douglas, who will be joining us for a post-game wrap-up after that final buzzer. You know, before the broadcast, I was talking about how I, I thought uh, Coach Douglas might start um, the five seniors again. But uh, after Maddie Douglas's uh, big game, as a you know the first game as a first game playing, you know she scores 23. I, it's kind of hard not to start her. Absolutely, um, I had a, an opportunity to talk to Coach Douglas last season as just kind of fellow parents at uh, junior high girls basketball, and uh, I just I asked him you know how he was thought things were shaping up, and he's like, I can't see her not playing varsity, but. We've got to let the stats be what the stats are. And uh, yeah, a big 23 point game, that, that's the stats. Yeah, you start off a game like that, especially in a game that was close up until the fourth quarter, you know, that the, you got the coach has to play at that point. All right, and the tip goes to the Zebras. Lady Comets playing very aggressive defense. Got a three ball up, and it's off the mark. Down court to Zimpleman in the corner. Gonna dish it down low to Scales. Scales losing her balance, puts it out off the foot of Bollinger. Scales looking to inbound. Deep to Henderleiter. Scales near wing, cross court pass to Zimpleman. Douglas thought about popping that three. Bell does pop a three, off the mark. Zimpleman with the rebound, she'll go up with it. She'll get fouled on the shot. Foul there on number 25, Audrey Bullinger. Her first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. First shot up and good for Zempelman. With that first foul, that gives us a great opportunity to talk about the new rule changes on fouls for the 2023-2024 uh, season where there's only, there are five fouls per quarter, and once you hit five, it is double bonus. Yeah, there's no more single bonus, and the fouls reset each quarter. Of course, these Lady Zebras don't have a lot of fouls to give with only seven players on the roster. And we're going to call that out off of Rochester. Rochester fans not happy with that call. The ref was right there, though. I think he had a pretty good view of it. Zimpleman bringing it up. Comets looking to break the 2-3 uh, zone and they'll get a steal, but the Comets will steal it right back. Wilson had it and got it stolen by Zimpleman. Alexa, Finky down low. Ball's all over the place and Finky will tip it out of bounds. Zebra ball. <clears throat> Lady Comets gonna put on a full court press. Mm -hmm. 
Ball's going to go out of bounds off of Addison Zimpleman. McCarter dribbled it right off of her foot. Wilson's going to bring it up for the Lady Zebras. Lady Comets playing man to man defense. Pass down low, gets wrapped up. Douglas quick in there to get on that. And that jump ball will go Comets. Zimpleman bringing up for the Lady Comets. Hender Leiter to Scales. Douglas drives. Finky knocks it out of bounds once again. Right. Douglas may have been lucky there. It looked like she almost carried that for a little bit. Rogers. Yeah, she, she was real aggressive with that dribble penetration, but then kind of got lost in it, it looked like. Ooh, Zimpleman probably lucky she didn't get called with a moving screen there. Number 15, Jaden Field with the first points of the night for Rochester, tying the score up at two. Hendelider, near corner. Douglas for three. Just Don't off miss the mark. It. We get a travel here on number 25, Audrey Bollinger. Coach Burris not happy about the no foul call. Scales, short jumper, can't get it to fall. And now there's going to be another jump ball. It'll stick with Rochester. Lady Comet staying in the press. <laughs> Ball is going to be passed out of bounds. Nobody touched it. Lady Comets are going to get the ball back. <laughs> Zimpleman, far corner, missed it. Number 33, McCarter with the rebound. Pass down into the post. Shots up, and it's in and out. Unlucky. We're going to get a foul on the floor. It's going to be a push on Isabel Scales. Lady foul, number 11, Isabel Scales. Her first, team first. Henderleiter gets on top of Bollinger and knocks that ball out of bounds. That was a clean block. Lob pass in. Zimpleman's going to get her hands on it. Maddie <laughs> Douglas is going to come away with it, and then she's going to get fouled by Bollinger. Everybody kind of lost track of where that was. Bollinger picking up her second foul in just three minutes. And we've got Olivia Thomas coming in for the Comets and Mia Howdeshow coming in for the Zebras. Zimpleman's going to start. Tender lighter to Douglas up top. Lady's got to clean up those passes, Pete. Zimpleman near wing. Hard 2-3 zone by the Lady Zebras. Really making the comments work for open shots. Zimpleman for three. That one's going to be banked in. And the Lady Comets back in full court press. Skip pass. Thought about the three. Clevenger. McCarter. Jump shot from the free throw line, can't fall. 
Number 15, Jaden Field backing down in the post and putting that one up for two. Pass into the post. Zimpleman. Thomas with the shot. Looks like he got tipped. Now Wilson will bring it up for the Lady Zebras. McCarter. Near wing. Clevenger for three, off the mark. Thomas with the rebound. Zimpleman will bring it up. Scales far wing. Drives, puts up a two, and that'll fall. Could be a foul on Olivia Thomas there. Carter bringing the ball up for the Lady Zebras. She'll look to drive. She'll get trapped and Isabel Scales will come around the backside and knock the ball out of bounds. Annie Harsh coming in for the Lady Comets. Macy Henderleiter is going to get a break. Three minutes left here in the first quarter. Comets with a 7-4 lead. Had a shell in the corner for three. She'll make it. Scores all tied up at seven with three minutes to go in the first quarter. Douglas up top. She's gonna get, Olivia Thomas is gonna get a three second violation. And Coach Josh Douglas will take a timeout. All right, well. It's a 30 are, second. It's 30 second, we'll keep it here. Coach Douglas looking pretty animated down there in the huddle, Pete. Yeah, I don't think uh, the ladies are playing quite how Coach Douglas thought they would. And uh, Coach Douglas got a little extra time on that 30 second timeout. Wilson will bring it up for the Lady Zebras. Of course, between missed rebounds and raw turnovers, the Lady Comets already having given up possession almost as many times as the what they want to see in an entire game. Yeah, and Maddie, Maddie uh, Douglas will pick up her first foul. Quick question on the scoreboard there by one of the referees. Maddie Douglas is going to get a hand on that, and she'll steal it right away. And she'll pass it to Zempelman, who will go up and get fouled. Great play put together there. Fouls on number 11, Mia Howdeshell, her first, team third. In and out off of that one. Second one rolls in for her. 
And that'll give Kasten the lead back. Scales will just steal that right out of Clevenger's hand. She'll go up with the layup and she'll put it in for the end one. Scales just took that right out of Clevenger's hands after, after Clevenger received the pass. And Isabel Scales getting three the hard way. A timeout by Coach Burris, his first of the game. And he'll take a full timeout, so we're going to step away and thank our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC TV. Wilson's going to bring the ball up for the Lady Zebras. Lady Comets in 2-3 zone of their own. Really playing hard defense. Scales is going to tip that pass out of bounds. Lady Zebras will keep it. It's one thing we've noticed with Coach, du uh, Coach Douglas. Every girls team that he's coached has played really tough, hard defense. They haven't been scared to take a few fouls. McCarter for three. That was that a deep good. three. Scales gives it to Harsh. Now we're at Douglas who will drive down. She'll put up a shot, and that's going to be on the floor. Doesn't matter. That was the fifth team foul. She's going to the line for two. Foul there on number 33, Ellen McCarter. Her first. And there it is. The first... Uh, Two shots from the new rule change. First one's good. Scales with the rebound off the missed second shot. And she's going to get called for a travel. Took one too many steps on her. Drive to the lane. Braylon Hunter, number five in for the Zebras. Wilson will bring it up for the Lady Zebras. McCarter, Wilson, near wing. McCarter. Clevenger for three. That one will fall. That'll give the Lady Zebras a 13 to 12 lead with 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. Wilson tips the pass. And that's gonna go out off of Douglas as she runs into the announcer stand. Nobody can say that she's holding anything back. No, and number four, Macy Henderleiter will come in for Annie Harsh. McCarter bringing it up. Wilson near side. Back to McCarter. Clevenger. McCarter. Douglas just missed the steal there. Scales all over. She's going to knock it out of bounds off of Braylon Hunter. Aggressive athletic play there by Isabel Scales. I'm almost surprised they didn't call any fouls on that. Well, from the benches in the way, I thought she was almost out of bounds there. Well, we're under 20 seconds left here in the first. Douglas, Hinderleiter, far wing. Going to give it in to Finky, who mishandles it, but gives it to Douglas near wing, and she'll put it in for three as the clock expires. And at the end of And again, 
The team fouls have reset for the quarter. Scales will bring it up for the Lady Comets. Scales drives, tries to kick it to Finky, but Clevenger gets in the way. McCarter near wing. Hunter in the corner, she's getting trapped. She dishes it down into the post. Two girls are fighting over it. We're gonna get a jump ball here. Zebras will keep it on the arrow. Lady Zebras will keep it on the arrow, as you just said. Um, Comets fans not happy about a, not, uh, the refs not calling a travel there, but they're gonna say that Jeez. while she went down, they were tied up. And once she was on the ground, she was pretty planted. Great steal on that inbound, though. And Great. she'll go coast to coast with that for two. Great effort by Addison Zimpleman right there. There's a travel by Jaden Field. Yeah, I'm so on Zimpleman's steal there on that inbounds, I'm surprised more teams don't do that because a lot of the time that inbound is just going to be a lob pass into the backcourt. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to have a travel there, I believe, as I think he was trying to get control of the ball. Yeah, she mishandled the pass a little bit, and then two or three girls were all over. Clevenger. Pass stolen by Douglas. She'll drive. Just Shot. missed that. Field saves that. And now Wilson will bring it up for the Lady Z's. Now McCarter. Clevenger. Clevenger. Pass stolen by Henderleiter. She'll take it coast to coast. And she'll put it up for two and get fouled. Hinderleiter at the line for one. Jaden Field picking up her first foul of the night. And Hinderleiter will sink the sink the free throw. Can't make the three the hard way to make the score twenty to thirteen with six forty to go in the half. Wilson, Clevenger, Field, and Hinderleiter steals it out of Field's hand. She'll put it up, she'll miss the layup, but Zimpleman gets the rebound, she'll miss, and Wilson with the rebound. McCarter near wing. Douglas will steal it from her. Hinderleiter to Scales, Scales for three. That ball's in. Good. Wilson picks up her dribble. She'll give it down to field. She'll drive and put it up. She'll miss, but Henderlight will come down with the rebound. Henderlighter to Douglas. Zimpleman for three. That ball's in. Comet's running away with the lead quickly here. Lady Zebras really have to keep control of the ball. This almost looks like a different Lady Comets team in the second quarter. I do believe that McCarter got away with an extra step there. And then Clevenger throws the ball out of bounds. Yeah, they didn't have any choice but to let it go. One touch would have been a backcourt violation anyway. Full timeout by Coach Douglas here. Thomas 26, Lady Zebras 13. And we'll be back after a few words from our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC TV4. Comets very quickly putting 11 points on the scoreboard in this quarter uh, with less than three minutes gone. 
Lady Zebras just really turning the ball over, giving the Comets these extra chances to get ahead. And the Comets have really tightened up their scoring on, on the offensive side of the floor. Thomas for three. That'll be out of bounds as it touches the strap that holds the backboard up for extra support. Wilson, far side. Clevenger. Had a shell for three. That ball's off the mark, but Wilson will get the rebound and put it in for two. And that is Rochester's first score of the quarter. Scales. She's gonna get trapped in the corner but the ball is going to be knocked out of bounds by Hattishell. Scales looking to inbound. She's going to dump it off to Zimpleman. Pass into the post, stolen. Uh, against the zone defense like the 2-3 that the Lady Zebras are playing. That pass is going to rarely be there. And that's going to be a 10-second violation on the Lady Zebras. I'm going to be honest. I'm surprised that, uh, that the Lady Comets haven't gotten them countered out before this point of the game uh, with the full court pressure they've been playing. Um, very athletic Lady Comets crew here. And uh, they definitely have they have the wheels to run up and down this court. Coach Douglas definitely taking advantage of it. Skills, far wing. Back to Zimpleman, near side. She puts it up for two. A little jump shot from about 13 out. Douglas misses the steal. Had a shell, cross court pass to Clevenger. She's going to basically pass it to Scales who will drive and put that in for two and drawing the foul from Wilson for the end one. Uh, that'll be Wilson's first. Team second in the quarter. And with that, only Braylon Hunter remains foulless for the Lady Zebras. Well, when you only have seven players, that's... Right. It's going to be tough. Scales will make that a three-point play. And Finky will come in for Douglas. Comets now with a 16-point advantage with just over three minutes left in the half. McCarter near side. Gonna drive and Henry Light will pick off that pass. Pass down into Finky. Tipped out of bounds by McCarter. Harsh is gonna look to inbound. He's gonna lob it into scales. Henry Lighter. Harsh. She's going to travel. Zimpleman coming back in. Isabel Scales takes a break. Comet's still playing unrelenting defense. Skip pass. Clevenger in the corner for three. That one's not going to fall. It's going to go 
off the back of the backboard. And Addison Zumpelman making her way down the court. Thomas, near wing, cross court pass to Harsh. Almost got picked off. I think he's gonna lose it and Hattershell will come out with the ball. Riley Clevenger just across the timeline. Gives it to McCarter. Down to the post and that's gonna be a foul on Olivia Thomas, I believe. That'll be her second, team first in the quarter. Gales and Douglas back in for the Comets. Gives Harsh and Thomas a break. Long time, barely gets the ball on. Now Wilson, top of the key for three. That ball's gonna fall. Barely disturbed the net on the way through. Pass into the post, and the Carter gets her hands on it, knocks it out of bounds. Rochester is playing a really good 2 3 zone here, and the Lady Comets are not getting those passes into the paint because of it. Douglas drives, and she's going to get fouled on the floor. That'll be on Aubrey Wilson, her second. Team's third here in the quarter. Scales to Zimpleman. Zimpleman puts it up for two. Quick little pass, quick hitter. The Zebras weren't ready for it. Now Wilson's gonna bring it up, give it to McCarter. Carter, pass tip, but Wilson keeps the hold of it. And now jump shot put in the hole by Braylon Hunter. Pass tipped out of bounds by Wilson. I'm honestly surprised in all of that scramble down here that uh, I think it was Ella McCarter didn't get called for a kick. Maddie Douglas goes over the top of Patashell to get that one. Now, Hinderleiter near wing. Kick it into the corner to Douglas for three. Ooh, that ball's also off the mark. But Zimpleman will put it back up for two and she'll put it in. Comets 35, Zebras 20 with 40 seconds to go in the half. <clears throat> Clevenger, pass stolen by Hinderleiter. That was some take verticality it. by Hinderleiter. Good for two. Comet's still playing full court press. Hunter's going to get it. Hunter's going to pull up just off the mark. Zimpleman's going to bring it down. Scales for three, but she's going to get called for a travel. She caught the ball on her feet. Took a little hop step, and that's what they called her for. Now the Comets going to play really tough press here. McCarter. 12 seconds in the half. Clevenger. Wilson near side. Had a shell. Douglas is all over. Now had a shell for three. That ball's off the mark. And they're gonna call Maddie Douglas for a foul. That's Douglas's second. Casting foul, number 22, Maddie Douglas. First second, team second. Number 11, Mia Hattershell to the line. And Hattershell will get her three shots uncontested. There's no point in uh, going for the rebound.
Three shots for Hattishell. Of course, Hattishell's not been to the line today. We don't know what kind of shooter she is for free throws. First one's good. Second one's just off the front of the rim. Last shot of the half right here. And ball. she'll put it in. So at the end of two, it's cast in 37, Rochester 22. We're gonna step away, thank some sponsors, and then we'll be back with some first half stats. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC TV. Douglas, far wing. Enderleiter into Douglas. Zumpelman for three. That ball's off the mark. McCarter's going to rebound it and give it to Wilson to bring it up. Clevenger for three. Off the mark. This ball's going to be saved, but Zimpleman's going to take it almost all the way. She'll take a little Euro step and miss. She'll get a rebound, though, and put it back up and miss again. That ball's going to be out of bounds off of the Lady Zebras. Zimpleman went down hard, and I think she was looking for a call on that. Good, by, good job by the Lady Zebra staying straight up, though. Scales for three off the inbound. And that ball's airballed and it's going to be out of bounds as the ball fell. Now, once again, Wilson bringing it up for the Lady Zebras. Comments in a 2 3 zone now. And McCarter off the mark. Douglas with the rebound. Scales into Zimpleman in the post off the mark and that's going to be rebounded by the Lady Zebras. And we get Wilson bringing the ball back. Zimpleman misses that steal. Clevenger near side. Back to Clevenger. Shot up and off the mark. And it's going to be out of bounds. No chance for Bollinger to try and save that one. Zimpleman's going to bring it up. So far, no score yet this quarter. Almost two minutes in. Finky, near corner. Zimpleman in the post. She's going to put it in for two. Now Wilson bring it up for the Lady Zebras. Clevenger, she's gonna dish it down in. She's gonna be shot up by field off the mark. Zimmerman's gonna get the ball to save. Scales, cross court pass to Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter will drive. Two point shot from just outside the paint will fall in. Lady Zebras really need an answer. Clevenger gonna dish it to Wilson. It's gonna be a jump ball as Zimpleman gets a hand in there to try and steal that. Zebras will keep that. McCarter, pass down in the field, loose ball. She'll save it, and Clevenger will have it near wing. Now McCarter, far wing. Wilson, down into the post. Ball's tipped out of bounds by Field. Lady Comets will have the ball. Annie Harsh coming in for the Comets. Macy Hinderleiter gets a break. Field. 
Five minutes left here in the third. Pass down to the post to Zimpleman. Dishes it to Harsh, far corner. That ball will fall for three. Wilson, way to keep her balance, get that ball away. Carter, pass to Clevenger. She's gonna dish it into Bollinger. And Scales is gonna steal that one. And she'll put it up for two with her left hand. It's really looking like these ladies Evers are getting tired. They're definitely not moving as quick as they were in the first half. Wilson, Clevenger. nearly dragging that pivot foot, manages to get the ball away. Douglas is going to tie up with her, and that'll be a jump ball. No. Lady Comets will get that on the arrow. Harsh going to bring it up for the Lady Comets. Douglas. Cross court pass to Zempelman. Harsh, Douglas. Finky can't hold on to it, and it's going to be a loose ball. It's going to be a jump ball. That'll be Lady Zebras. Number three, Olivia Thomas enters the game for the Lady Comets. Olivia Thomas back in for the Comets. Again, Comets able to cycle through that bench. And here in this last quarter and a half of basketball, we'll really start seeing that bench paying dividends as the Comets are able to stay just a little bit fresher than their opponents. Zemplin gets a hand on that one. Wilson. Clevenger for three. Just off the mark. Scales with the rebound. Douglas in the corner, 4-3 off the mark. Harsh with the rebound though. Thomas is implement for three. That ball's off the mark. Harsh is gonna knock it out of bounds out of Fields' hands. Lady Comets laying off the full court press in the second half so far. One three one zone. Douglas is gonna tie up with it. We have another jump ball. Lady Comets with possession this time. Officials are calling those jump balls very quickly in the second half. Also, both teams really tying up with the ball. We didn't really see much of that in the first half. Pass down into the post of Scales. Scales can't hang on to it. That was an aggressive pass. Scales went vertical for it, but it just about took her off her feet. Perfect placement on it though. Letting Scales get up for it where nobody else could. And ball tied up again. We have another jump ball. The zebras will keep it. Clevenger. Pass. Tipped by Douglas, but it's going to be out off of Wilson. Lady Comet's going to get the ball. Douglas working. I'm gonna give it to Harsh. Scales into Thomas who puts it up. And Zimpleman saves it, but Wilson's gonna steal it. Now McCarter will bring it up for the Lady Zebras. Clevenger for a long two-pointer, and it'll fall. 
Rochester's first points of the second half with only two minutes to go in the third quarter. Douglas down into Scales. Scales mishandles it. And it's gonna be out of bounds off of Rochester there. That was kind of a mistake to go after that ball. Yeah, I, th I thought that was gonna be out off of Scales. Lob pass into Douglas. Harsh, far side. Zimpleman for three, that one's off the mark. Scales, Zimpleman trying for the rebound. Zimpleman will grab it. Now Douglas, a little shot fake. She'll drive, put it in for two on the floater. Zimpleman way late on the steal attempt. It's gonna be a travel on McCarter. I think Scales would have knocked that pass away anyways. Now Hinderleiter's gonna come in. Center ladder near wing, cross court to Thomas. Thomas looks for help, sends it back out to Harsh. Scales corner three. That one's gonna be off the mark. I think the Lady Comets have really lost that 50% outside shooting this hat for this quarter at least. Now McCarter for three. That'll be off the mark. Thomas with the rebound. Scales bringing it up with 30. Cross court to Henderleiter. Henderleiter will drive, put it up for two, and that'll be in and out. Scales tries to come in for the steal, and she's gonna get called for a foul. That'll be her second. That was the first foul of the quarter. I was gonna say, we played a really clean third quarter here earlier, but uh, I didn't want to jinx it. Well, I'm sure fouls were a major point of conversation in the Zebras locker room at the half. Zumpelman comes in, gives Scales a break. Scales and Douglas getting a break right now. Good pass fake by McCarter to get Zumpelman to go one way. Now Clevenger. Gonna throw it a little bit out of Hattishell's reach, and Hattishell's gonna tip it out of bounds for the Lady Comets to get possession. 10 seconds left on the clock in this quarter. Now three. Zimpleman for three, off the mark. And Ball. that'll end the quarter. And at the end of three, it's Comets 48, Zebras 24. We'll be back after we hear from our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC TV. Lady Zebra is still sitting on two with two. And then four of the other five with one each. Zimpleman going to bring it up for Lady Comets. Scales near wing three off the mark. And that's going to be out of bounds. No chance for Hinderleiter to try and save that one. McCarter bringing it up. Lady Comets not putting on the full court press, but definitely meeting him at the half. Zimpleman going to try and take that one away. I'm going to call that a jump ball. That'll be Lady, Lady Zebra's ball. Honestly, they almost could have called that a travel on Zimpleman. Well, I, th I think it was either going to be a steal or a jump ball. She never really got control. McCarter. She's going to draw a foul from Hinderleiter there. Hinderleiter's first, team first in the quarter. And I think these eight minutes are where we're gonna where we're going to see the Lady Comets take advantage of the bench depth and the fact that they've got fouls to give. 
Yeah, even though they're up by 24, so they really don't have to play too aggressive. They can just keep playing their style of basketball and they should be fine. Finky. Hunter gets her for hands in three, the way. it's off the mark. Douglas, little jumper, gonna fall. Wilson, Clevenger for three off the mark. Finky with the rebound. McCarter's gonna get a hand on that one. Douglas, down into the post to Zempelman, and Zempelman's gonna draw the foul off of McCarter. That's McCarter's second, team first. that one. Audrey Bollinger back in for the Zebras. Simple one, second shot falls right in. Now Wilson bringing it up for Rochester. McCarter, far wing. Clevenger. Wilson. Hunter, back to Wilson. Wilson for three. Ball's off the mark and Scales will pull down the rebound. Zempelman gonna drive baseline and we got a blocking foul on Braylon Hunter. That'll be her first. Team second. Six minutes left in the regulation. Inbound into Scales. Cross court to Zimpleman. Zimpleman for three off the mark. And Hinderleiter's going to try and save it, but she's gonna step out right before she jumped. Hard full court press here. Finky's gonna steal it, give it to Zimpleman. Zimpleman gonna put it up for two. Tell you what, if Douglas would have been on McCarter any tighter on that uh, press, she'd have been part of her uniform. And the lighter gets in front of that pass and knocks that out of bounds. She nearly had control of that. We're going to get a foul on McCarter here as she shoves Maddie Douglas off. Team third, her third. Douglas, Zempelman scales. Cross court pass to Henderleiter. Henderleiter will go up with it and she'll miss underneath the basket there. Zempelman saves it. Now McCarter's gonna bring it up. Scales putting on a little bit of man-to-man -man full court pressure. Clevenger drives baseline. She's going to get fouled by Henderleiter. She goes up for that shot. Be Henderleiter second, team second. These will be Clevenger's first free throws of the evening. She gets the shooter's roll on that first one. 
Harsh and Thomas come into the ball game with just under five minutes to play. Clevenger shot up and good. 53 to 26, Lady Comets lead. Harsh, near corner. Douglas, shot fake, she'll drive. Put that up for two and it's in and out as it rolls around the basket. Now McCarter, she's gonna draw the foul. It's gonna be on Isabel Scales. Scales third. Oh, no, they're gonna call that on Douglas. All right, Douglas is third, team third. Wilson to bring the ball up for the Lady Zebras. Lady Comics gonna trap and that's gonna be Maddie Douglas's fourth foul. And Lady Comics only got one more to, well, they have no more to give before the double bonus. Maddie Douglas, of course, looking with uh, just over half of the quarter left to play. She may end up sitting down for the evening. She's going to steal that one, though. She's going to look to take it coast to coast, and she will. Guess she decided if there's a chance she's going to sit down, she's going to shine bright before she does. Here's Wilson. Clevenger for three. It's off of Mark Skills. going to get the rebound. Pass to Douglas, Harsh, Thomas, down into Scales in the post, she'll go up with it and she'll put it in for two. Wilson slowly bringing it across. Any slower and she might have been close to a 10 second. Now McCarter, far wing. The field, field's gonna. Draw I was the foul. surprised that they weren't calling that. Olivia Thomas picking up her third foul. And that'll put field at the line for two. First shot's in. Second one's in. Lady Zebra's really good at the free throw line. That was a pair of textbook free throws. Zempelman near wing. Harsh, Thomas, Harsh, Douglas. She's gonna pass it to almost nobody. Zeltman gets a hand on it though and saves it. And we got Scales. Scales is gonna drive baseline, kick it to Harsh. Douglas to Harsh, Harsh for three. That one's off the mark. Scales can't get a hold of it. Bullinger is going to get the rebound. Clevenger will bring it up. Two and a half left to play. McCarter, far wing. Clevenger. Wilson into the post, and that's going to be a foul on Annie Harsh. She shoves Field into the ball. That'll be her first. Team six, which is irrelevant because Zebras are in the double bonus. Field looking to maintain her 100% average from the line. First one goes in and out. Did not get the shooter's roll on that one. It's 
especially mixed with the announcer's jinx there. <laughs> Second one will fall, though. And we get a timeout here by Coach Burris. Looks like it'll be a full timeout. All right. Well, we're going to step away and say thank you to our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC TV4. Lady Comets. It's going to be Annie Harsh bringing the ball up. Scales. Harsh for three. That ball's going to fall. Sixty to twenty-nine, thirty-one point lead for the Lady Comets. McCarter pass down in the post. Not really anybody there. Henderleiter and Finky re-entering for the Comets. Douglas bringing the ball up. Hander Leiter, far side. Ooh, pass tipped by Field. She'll knock it out of bounds. Two of those cross court passes can be dangerous. Arch from the back court. 90 seconds left on the clock. Arch. Douglas for three. That ball is going to fall. Two three zone by the Lady Comets. Thomas. It's going to be a foul on Annie Harsh's. Thomas and Harsh both were all over field as she drove. That'll be Harsh's second. Jaden Fields, 75% from the line so far tonight. This is her third visit. First one's good. Number 24, Autumn Miller. And number 21, Grace Wright in for the Lady Comets. Another can't, or excuse me, field can't quite get that second one to drop. 63 to 30 with a minute to go in the game. Harsh, right, Hinderleiter. Harsh, Miller, right, Hinderleiter. Harsh, ooh, McCarter got a hand on that one. Hinderleiter. We're going to get a timeout by Coach Douglas to get his subs in. 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. 34 seconds left on the clock here tonight. Coach Douglas called that timeout just to get his subs in. We have Kylie Reidenbach, Kylie Logan. And Haley Miller coming in for the Comets. Wright uh, is going to tip that one. I'm kind of surprised that didn't get called a backcourt. She, she didn't have possession. She had a hand on it, though. Yeah, so I was, was, was kind of yeah. surprised that they... Surprised. For travel on uh, Autumn Miller. And we got 20 seconds left. Wilson, she, they're going to look for the last shot of the half, last crossing, shot of the game. Crossing that 10 second mark, now we're under six. Clevenger for three, that one's just off the mark and Kyler Reidenbach's going to get the rebound and that'll end the game. Lady Comet 63, Lady oh, Zebras 30. Lady Comet 63, Lady Zebras 30. 
All right, well, we are going to step away. We're going to thank our sponsors, and we're going to come back with a post-game wrap-up and an interview with Comets coach Josh Douglas. You've been watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC TV.